there's just a few cars, cameramen, and in a house. So yeah, let's uh, see. That person watching from his house might have the best view of this game. And there we go, a late goal against uh, Manchester United in this little stadium and you can just see like the, the, the celebrations is making the pitch even worse what is up guys welcome back to a brand new video on my channel so today i'm gonna show you the best thing about fifa 23 this is a new feature that they've added this year and i'm not too sure how many people actually know about it so uh, smash the like button let's try and go for 3000 and let's get right into it so if you go here down to stadiums you obviously uh, have a lot of you know stadiums on this game they got a lot of licenses but they've actually added one guys that is not a real stadium but it is uh, the smallest stadium of all time in any FIFA game. It is called the Longville Stadium. One of the sides actually don't even have any seats at all. I think the maximum capacity here is like four or five thousand. After some quick research, guys, you can actually use this stadium in career mode. And it, I feel like it would be really cool to do a creative club career mode. Start off with this stadium, you know, the smallest one possible. And then obviously build your way up. Now, however, on Ultimate Team, there is absolutely no way you can use this stadium at least right now the card is not available on the market you cannot buy it so unfortunately you cannot be playing online games there but you never know in the future hopefully this also gets added into the game guys uh, but yeah uh, th this was maybe added into the game just simply because of create the club career mode this is by far the smallest capacity stadium you can start with on the whole game so what I'm gonna do with this stadium today is that I'm gonna make it into a very very old one from about the 1930s we are gonna be playing some old uh, football today guys this is gonna be really interesting and i'll show you how to get the settings if you go to match conditions you want to take this to custom you want to go season winter and then let's just go ahead and play during the day the weather we want to go ahead and put this to a rain and the pitch type is going to be obviously natural grass the pitch pattern is going to be turf with no lines at all because that's how you know it used to be before they didn't really have any you know fancy lines or something like that on the football pitch it was just grass and then the pitch rear has to be high which means that uh, the pitch is going to be tearing up quicker there's going to be more marks you know more damage on uh, the grass guys and the pitch color will take this down to the lowest uh, pitch line color is going to be default and the football guys here we go this is what Pele was playing with it is the leather football and after that you want to go over to visual and put the net tension to loose you want to put the net shape to triangle and the net meshing to hexagon and uh, when you've done that you are pretty much ready to go guys this is gonna look especially cool because it's such a small stadium and obviously we are playing with some very old settings there so uh, let's get into the match and see how it looks like after a few minutes of the football a few slide tackles and a lot of running later it is like we are back in the uh, 30s guys i mean look at the state of the pitch and i mean this stadium as well is so cool because as you can see at least on this side there is literally no stand no uh, you know seats or anything like that uh, there's only a, a house let's uh, try and forget about the fact that uh, the house is kind of modern um but yeah definitely i mean it's uh, it's it's really charming guys to play in this stadium uh i i really don't know if it's possible to get this for example on career mode or something but um yeah i mean at least offline guys it's definitely worth uh, just trying it out because it is kind of different to you know what they have released before and let's just talk a little bit about this pitch guys i mean you, you can see mud and lines everywhere it does not look any good and this is what happens when you put the um, tear up too high that means that uh, the pitch um, you know there's going to be a lot of damage to it from just running you know slide tackles all of that here we go it's a save but for me no scores and i mean look at the nets as well they are uh, you know really old style right there uh, and, and look at this celebration as well right next to this house guys it uh, would be pretty interesting to see any Premier League games played here in real life. Now we're going to be taking a penalty, guys, uh, at uh, this side where, of course, there is no seats or anything. And I'm not too sure if there has ever been a stadium in FIFA where, you know, there hasn't been any... Uh, or at least one of the sides in the stadium does not have any one in the background. You guys can see there's just a few cars, cameramen, and, and a house. So, yeah, let's uh, see. That person watching from his house might have the best view of this game. And there we go, a late goal against uh, Manchester United in this little stadium. And you can just see, like, the, the, the celebrations is making the pitch even worse. And here we can see the kits as well, guys. Look at how dirty they are. This is proper football, guys. And, um, yeah, it is uh, really cool to take a look at. Just look at the Diogo Jota's kit. 
the amount of uh, stains, uh, you know, mud, grass, everything there on the numbers as well. And uh, Firmino has been doing a few uh, slide tackles. James Miller's kit actually looks uh, kind of clean to be James Miller. I was expecting more dirt, to be honest. But yeah, guys, this is uh, really, really cool to see. What I think we should do now, though, is that let's let Manchester United score a goal. And we'll actually do a penalty shootout uh, in this stadium, guys. And there could be some really interesting scenes at the end, you know, even when we get ourselves a winner as well. So there we go. Jaden Sancho. Makes the pitch even worse. Yet another knee slide. The match is over and we are going to be taking this one into a penalty shootout to see who can win at this uh, wonderful stadium. You know, there is just uh, something special, as I said before, it, it playing in stadiums like this. That doesn't have, you know, 80,000 seats or something like that. So yeah, let's go into uh, penalties. Let's actually do the uh, ABBA penalty system. That is uh, a little bit different than normal. And uh, yeah, here we go guys, let's see if we can beat them on the hardest difficulty, there is no fans in the background, but James Miller steps up first and uh, he is always secure from penalties, with the mud and everything on the shirt, Ronaldo doesn't have too much on his shirt, but I mean that penalty is absolutely insane, I mean what is the secur sec security guard actually doing there, why, why, why is the steward uh, you know, moving like that, I'm not too sure. But yeah, Mo Salah up next, and I mean, the penalties are absolutely wonderful. Here we go again, Firmino with the ABBA penalty system, and we have also missed one. Harry Maguire steps up next, and of course, Harry Maguire has missed it. And now there is a lot of pressure on Manchester United, but Anthony goes ahead and scores that one. So here we go then, Diogo Jota. That is a perfect penalty, chipped into the net. And uh, this is for the winner then, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Can he silence some haters today? There we go, Trent has won it at this stadium, guys. And um, the scenes are going to be absolutely beautiful. Why am I just watching the Gea right now? What is going on here? Okay, yeah, well, uh, th there's a couple of glitches. <laughs> some bugs in this stadium. It's probably because it's brand new and... You know, uh, there's definitely going to be some bugs. I've already noticed that before in this stadium too. But yeah, guys, you should definitely take it out, uh, check it out. Mohamed Salah takes home the leather football. And uh, the fans are going to be traveling home after that. As I said, I think it's about 5,000 fans that's um, able to be in that stadium. So, yeah, it's, in my opinion, one of the coolest new features on FIFA 23. And I really wish that they add more cool stadiums like this in the future. Maybe at some point we're going to be able to make our own custom stadiums too. I think that would be really nice, guys. But, uh, yeah, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in my next one. Peace out.